Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another first impression from the Knights of the Turntable team. It is myself, Pro uh, Profex. God damn. Can't even talk. <laughs> hey, it's late. You don't get a host tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and I got Joe Hover with me. What's up? Yeah, yeah, we we are the uh, nocturnal two in this little group, so we're the only ones up late doing this. But we definitely wanted to get this first impression out for sure. Uh, the project is called Dot Wave Theory by Save Money Artist Tokyo out of Chicago. Um, I actually did not know of this guy at all. I know about Save Money, but I didn't know anything about this particular artist until Heaven Only Knows with Chance the Rapper drop. I didn't you? know about him until you said, hey, you want to do a first impression. <laughs> <laughs> so I am, I am new to all of his music. Okay, so I didn't listen to anything other than Heaven Only Knows um, when, when it dropped. And I knew that uh, he had a feature with Vic Mensa, who just signed to Rack Nation. And I was like, well, I'm a, they, they announced a mixtape. 2015 has been dope so far. Let's reach out there and see what happens. So we both came in with a very fresh approach to this entire thing. We don't know. We didn't know what this guy's sound was like at all. And, and you can't even say that Chicago has a similar sound amongst all of them because they're all very different. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> uh, to start it off, how did you feel about the opening of the, the mixtape? Um, I mean, it was okay. It would like my thing with the with it was is I listened last night and I listened again tonight, and it didn't really grab me until about the middle of it. Like it just seemed like it was kind of like passing time for like the first few tracks. Right, I can definitely understand what you. That, that's why I wanted to start off with the beginning because mm -hmm. it's very different from the rest of the mix. And I mean, it jams like like it it straight up jams. Like if you're looking for something to play and get down to, like from basically beginning to end, it jams. Like, it has that chance influence on it. Definitely. You know what? I feel like only I feel like only two songs really have a chance influence. Um, and that's Clean Up, for sure. Clean Up, and, and, and Heaven Only Knows is, like, hand-in-hand hand with Sunday Candy, dude. Yeah, and uh, I, probably free your mind because it has the uh, has the social experiment on it. On the, on the production side, yeah. Um... You listen to classic, right? Classic. Yes. Oh, yes, 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 from Milwaukee, yes. That's actually who I hear more in this style of music. Mm. Not not so much rhymes. Uh, I feel like classic has more intricate rhymes. But the production. But, but the production is just, it's very, very similar to what he does. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. I didn't even, I didn't think of that. Yeah, it's right up that alley. Um there's only. I'm curious to hear what your worst song on the album or the mixtape is. Uh, mine is around almost at the mid uh, mark. Uh, God in Me featuring Leather Corduroys. Yeah, that's um, that's okay. It doesn't fit like with anything else on the album. I don't feel like it fits at all. I actually liked it. Like I thought it was okay. Like to be on there. Um, I don't know. Probably, probably my least favorite. I don't. Know, might have been the intro. The, the intro, intro because, yeah, because the intro didn't pull me in. Like an intro is supposed to pull you in, and it yeah. didn't really do anything for me. They really went with a very slow burner of an intro, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But the payoff at the end of the song wasn't as heavy as it should have been. Exactly. Um, especially considering the next three songs are very up tempo, probably more up tempo than the rest of the album. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> now my favorite song, which I listened to like six times before I got here on the drive from work, uh, after I played the whole thing through before, I, you know, because I knew we were gonna do this, is Reflections, which is yeah, near the end. yeah, that one's really good. Um, I I really dig Addicted though. Wait, which one? Addicted, the one right before that. Yes, Addicted is dope. That's probably the best run on the album right there. I Know You, Addicted, Reflection, Break You Off, which Break You Off is the strangest production I've heard in a while. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> not so much with like eerie sounds or anything, but the structure of the music is so weird. And what they build up to 
when it drops is not what you expect. And at first, I was like, oh, I don't like this. And then I was just like, not into it. I was like, okay. Because I, I guess I had just from what I've heard in the past, I have built up expectations for like that whole break you off thing and the build up and like heavy bass. But it went a completely different route. But it wasn't bad. Yeah. It was definitely good. Um, I think you're right, though. That stretch from I Know You to Heaven Only Knows is, like, really, really good. And then to end it with Oscillate sucks. Yep. I, I was wondering if you were going to agree on that note. Like, 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 it, like, like if they ended on Heaven Only Knows, perfect. That's fine. That I mean, you can't top that. Honestly, they could have moved Break You Off to the end. Ah. With, the way, with the way that it's set up and how it kind of builds up and then breaks back down. I don't know, like, I just look at it in the same structure as Chance's acid rap, because, like, that's that's the vibe that he gives me with, like, the production yeah. on it, and you, you I feel like... You can too, on, um, yeah. like, a couple songs. And I feel like, I feel like how Chance did acid rap, like, Heaven Only Knows fits that structure. Okay, I, I, I get what you're saying. Um, it's definitely along those lines. Now... With all, with all this being said, would you recommend this? Would I recommend this? Yeah. No. No? No. Nah. I mean, like, if you want to jam or whatever, like, yeah, sure. But, I mean, there's – if you, if you want to listen to Chicago music, there are a ton of Chicago artists that are probably better than this. Gotcha. Um, I would say it's very – it has a crossover appeal for sure, more so than some of the other artists, mm -hmm. which that's a big statement considering how Chance kind of blends things. Mm -hmm. um, if you are looking for something that's less hip-hop, then you may enjoy this more. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, um, I will recommend it, and a big part of that is because Reflections is probably one of my top five songs of the year so far. That... Um... When you were talking to me about it yesterday and was telling me to check it out, and you said that there's a Vic Mensa verse on there, and I was just like, okay, I, you know, I dig Vic. I, you know, I haven't really listened to like all of his projects or anything, but like here and there, like I'll catch a verse, and I'm like, okay, he's good. Yeah. Um, but Vic's verse, like he destroyed <laughs> that thing. Yes, he did. He went all the way off, dog. Yeah, he got to represent, save money. I don't know if he's like the owner of that group or he's definitely the poster boy now. Since he has the label deal and everything. Yeah, I, I, well, I don't know. I, I, I mean, because Chance doesn't want to sign, so... I it's mean, that's, that's kind of their thing, is, like, not signing. Like, they want to do it independently, and then Vic goes and signs. But they, when I read about it, I was worried about that, because I was like, okay, so he's probably not going to be with the whole save money thing. Mm -hmm. But the guy that was talking about it in an interview said that... It's um it's a partnership between Rock Nation and Save Money. Okay. I wonder if there will be a lane for artists that don't do retail albums on major labels. And they just they do shows and they do merchandise. Yeah. yeah. You know that's not that's not a bad idea actually. It, it, I mean with the cut with the following that Chicago artists have now, that's a good place to test the market. And that's the thing. I feel like the the model that Chance has built give you the album for free, which Surf drops this week, I think. Yes, it um, does. I think a lot more artists and I think a lot of labels are going to try to duplicate that now because it's working. It really is. It really is. You you. It's a much faster way to connect with the fans that support that type of music. We're, yeah, we're gonna see we're gonna see that, and we're gonna see more of the you know the albums dropping. Like, hey, I got an album coming out in two weeks. You know, we're gonna see a lot of that in the coming year. Which the way 2015 is going, I have no problem with that whatsoever. It's actually a little bit better because like you don't have expectations for a project. You're just yeah. kind of like you get it, and then you get a list. Word. Uh, I think this is a, a topic that we'll definitely come back to on the on the podcast, which yeah. we will be doing live tomorrow, so be sure to check in. That'll be around late evening, somewhere around 9.30, 10.30 Eastern, so tune in for that. But this has been the first impression for Tokyo's Wave Theory, which you can get on. We're going to post it on the site so y'all can download that for free. Yeah, it's on um, SoundCloud. It's on Hot New Hip Hop. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, Pitchfork had it, so... 
Yeah, yeah, it's everywhere. We'll post this video up and we'll have a stream so you can listen to it. Listen to Reflections. If you don't listen to anything else, listen to that. Well, listen to that. And heaven, heaven, only only knows. Knows. heaven Only Knows is fire. I hope they do a video for that, too. Yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah, but uh, it has been myself, Profex, and... Joe Hova. Signing out. See y'all later.